when it comes to healthcare, I would say a pet peeve of mine is that healthcare is really slow to change. When there's new research that comes out, a lot of people find out about it before the doctors do. And especially when it comes to like diet and exercise, um, there's a lot of research out there, you know, that's pointing to pretty much saying that a lot of the stuff we've been teaching for, for years, for 30, 40 years, it's kind of wrong. And healthcare is just really slow to change. And I'm just, I guess I'm just a little bit peeved that it has taken us so long just to start to realize these things. And many physicians still have no idea that it's the carbs that are killing people. Some doctors have figured this out, or other researchers, they find a lot of, of, of data about like insulin resistance and diabetes and different treatments that, you know, the successfulness of, of different treatments and, you know, diets, like what, what does this, you know, how does it affect cholesterol? And it's like, oh, you know, so many people are blaming, you know, fat. I mean, they blamed fat a lot in the 60s and 70s. In fact, the sugar industry paid researchers to blame um, the obesity problems on saturated fat. When the research we have now um, shows that's not really, that's really not very much the case. And it was, it was, it's the sugar that's really the problem. I would say when it comes to acute care, you know, you can't get much better than the United States. You know, you fall off a cliff, you get life flight at the hospital, and you get excellent care in the hospital. But when it comes to chronic issues, then um, you still need the, doc the advice of, of physicians and everything. But, um, I mean, better, better what you can do, even better, look at the data yourself. Find, you know, academic, scholarly evidence. They get paid to treat people. They don't get paid really to learn the new information that's coming out. And so, and they're, they also tend to be set, get set in their ways. So I think the best you can, thing you can do is, is be open-minded and take everything with a grain of salt and ask, where is the evidence? Is there research-based evidence behind this, you know? That, that can really go a long way because there's a lot of practices that have research-based evidence behind them now that doctors, you know, maybe aren't aware of. Be willing to challenge it. Never, never be committed to any given idea 100%. Always be open to new ideas and be open to, you know, new evidence. But you trust the evidence. Don't, it's, you don't just trust a news article that says, oh, this and this and this. Better look up the article, you know, on maybe even if it's just the abstract of the article, because you can get the abstract usually for free. Some articles you might have to pay for, you might need, you know, access via a university or something. Um, but I mean, look up the article and see what the article says because the original, you know, peer reviewed article. Because, you know, news articles and magazine articles, they may quote this study. But they often they misquote quote it or they quote it out of context. So you really have to look at the evidence yourself and judge, okay, is this what you know what's the best thing to do?